Tell us how surprising this was, you know, in lieu of some of the other contenders that were perhaps more high profile and perhaps more experienced in the upper echelons. Lin Zhou's appointment does come as a surprise to market watchers because he, there were many other people who had more seniority and expertise, and those people were strong contenders, front runners, um, including Yi Hui Ma'an and also Zhu Hexing, the chairman of Citic Group. Um, but Lin Zhou does have banking experience. He was a former banker. Um, now he's been elevated to this position that is expected to take on many serious duties um, as they oversee the national. Financial Supervision and Management Bureau, and they will be regulating thousands of banks, insurers, and trust firms. A former banker and also somebody who worked in regional governments uh, with that government post in Sichuan. What does that mean for what potentially he could focus on as a regulator? Well, uh, with Liunzo's background, he, he's a 50-year-old um, vice governor of Sichuan province, so he has the local experience on working on the ground. Um, a lot of the, the positions like this does involve working with um, businesses and the local uh, local um, power players. Um, I think with the new position, part of it is to straddle that, navigate that balance between regulating and making sure um, that the, the financial risks are controlled versus making sure that they do not snuff out of innovation and completely um, scare off foreign investors. Given the past three years, we were experiencing quite a turbulent times with the regulatory changes. Um, so I think it is a balancing act for him going forward.